I'm Zach with Chubby's Cruisers and today we're going to be st installing the faux rattan basket. So to install the faux rattan basket we're going to need a combination pedal wrench or just any 15 millimeter pedal wrench or any 15 millimeter wrench to loosen the axle bolts, a 8 millimeter socket on our combination wrench and a six millimeter Allen head wrench and for this we're going to use an adjustable wrench but our particular headset nut is a 30, mil 30 millimeter nut but if you have a big adjustable wrench that should cover just about any headset you've got and a Phillips head screwdriver. So the first step we're going to want to take our six millimeter wrench and remove the stem of the bicycle To gain access to the headset nut. So we're going to remove the headset nut and underneath the headset nut is going to be a washer with a small notch in it. that is going to be in between the nut and the rest of the headset assembly. You're going to want to remove this washer and replace it with this. But first we're going to assemble the rest of the basket and that'll make installing the basket a lot easier. So with the flat piece of the mounting bracket, take a washer and a screw, drop it through the hole another washer and a screw and drop it through the hole and then hold those in place with your fingers and then insert the screws with the mounting bracket onto the inside of the basket then with the other piece of the mounting bracket on the outside of the mount uh, on the outside of the basket put the washers on and then the knots. Then using your Phillips head screwdriver and your eight millimeter nut driver, tighten those up just a little bit. Still keeping them kind of loose so that you can adjust where the basket is once you've got the bracket mounted on the bicycle. So for the bottom support, you're going to want to take a screw and a washer and the support mounting plate and put that with the bulge facing outward and then insert the screw through the holes in the bottom of the basket. and just tighten them very little bit. Because we're gonna wanna work the supports through after they've been attached. This makes the installation a lot easier. So with both screws in place and the bracket loose, we're going to work the support legs through and then tighten up the screws a little bit more.
and then we're ready to put the basket on the bike. So then we're going to want to tighten our headset knot back up. Not too tight, but definitely snug. And then we're going to want to reinstall our handlebars. Just slide the expander bolt in there, slide the stem in there. Then using our 6mm Allen wrench, tighten that up, making sure that the stem is in line with the wheel, and that your handlebars are straight. You're going to want to get that real good and tight. If you're worried that you don't have it tight enough, either take it to your bike shop, your local bike shop, or use a bigger wrench. And then we're going to take the bike off the stand so that I can show you an easier way to install the bottom supports. It'll be easier for you to do at home. So with the bike resting upside down on the handlebars and the seat, that'll give you a easier access to the front wheel so that we can install the rear or the fork support for the basket. Remove the axle knots or just loosen them rather. Actually remove the axle knots. and then place the support bracket onto the axles. Place the washer on and then the nut. The washer and then the nut. And then making sure that the tire is lined up with the fork properly. Snug up one side, and then snug up the other side. And then tighten completely. Then go back over your bicycle, make sure you've tightened everything completely. Now that we've left these loose, so these need to be tightened the rest of the way. And also make absolutely sure that your handlebars are tight by bracing the front wheel in between your legs and twisting the handlebars. If they move, it's not tight enough and you need to tighten the stem bolt here using a six millimeter Allen wrench. Don't forget to check out our website at chubbyscruisers.com.